Wait, Not gonna lie, all I know is is the the one about the stab wounds, and I can't even remember remember the number, and that's it. That's all I know. What, uh, you, uh, Twenty-eight in... stab wounds. Yeah, that's the one. You didn't even leave him a chance. That's all. That's all I know. All I know is the phrase twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't even leave leave him a chance. That's it. That's all I know. That's all I got. It's the whole thing. That's all he knows. That's, That's the whole I'm... game. That's the whole game, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's the best part. Mm. Right. Well, <laughs> well... <laughs> Are we ready to do the actual intro, lads? Well, <laughs> one more thing. I want to talk about the best thing to do in that game, which is to keep every character other than Connor alive. You have to kill Connor as many times as possible. Can't actually ever Connor genocide run. Brilliant. Mm. Connor side. It's so much fun. You, you can get him a, like you. Uh, you do got a good ring to it. You can kill him like seven times. It's so funny. Yeah, like and none Connor of his deaths are good. But no none one of knows. his deaths are good. Oh, it's the dumbest thing. I think the funniest death he has is where he just shoots himself. All I was all I was imagining was like a fucking piano falls on him or some shit. Like cartoon uh, style. Well, he, like there is a really just coyote. Uh, just like a an anvil with the word acme written on the side just slams down on his head. Like a real the science show moment. Yeah, sure. Piano. Whose idea, Who's was, idea this? was this? Yes, Good that shit. is what I just said. Yeah, well, I was saying it at the same time as you. It's just this a bit lag. Oh, a A S the the. F oh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Reading Homestuck. Episode 21. I figured that was a good place to put the intro. I'm going to put some of the bit before that in. Just as a... Well, some of our completely cracked discussion. Some of whatever the fuck we were talking about there. Sure. I'll put it in as like a pre-intro bit or something. But yeah, as you can uh, as you can tell from what you've already heard, I got the usual fellas. We're, 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 we're back with Homestuck. We're back. We're back. back again. Tell a friend at order home. Uh, whatever. I don't have any friends to tell. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, re- oh, fucking it! Oh, my God. I can't. <laughs> oh, that's a real... Oh, oh, no. <laughs> one of them... One of the... Okay, okay. For context, audience. I, I, part of me is saying don't give them any, but for for context, audience, <laughs> Arthur and I played Danganronpa V3 one time, and that was the voice he gave Tenko for some reason, and he just kept saying, oh, fucking hell, and for some reason it just hit. It just hit my funny bone. Perfect perpendicular angle. Just fucking 90 degrees to the bone. Bonk! Hit my funny bone. Hilarious. And oh. at some point, you need to give one of the characters the the, the Tenko Chabashira voice because I can't okay. unhear that as her voice. Huh? That is the only voice she gets now. All she has is oh fucking hell, and that's it. That's all she has. Ah, right, fair enough. Yeah, can it? Oh, uh, I've I've got another voice. Um. Well, whatever character comes next. Mm, so, so, save it, oh. save it for future characters, my guy. Oh uh, no, I am saving it. But like, in fact, you're the, you're the one who's going to be vo- uh, be given the voice to the next uh, character in the main story, aren't you? Because we had um, yeah, Arthur, then you, and then Arthur again. So it's your turn again. And I yeah. might I might give one extra one other voice. I'm I'm only. So far, I'm only doing Jade, but uh, I might I might do another one. But yeah, <coughs> the, next, the next character better have a law sense for that. <laughs> I look forward to this. I super look forward to this. So let's just say 
goblins have inspired me. Mm. So let's pry That's the all wall. the context bit that you're getting. I don't know what you mean, but I will presumably find out. Oh, I might let's even talk pry the about wall it. from the safe. Uh, that notion is even more ridiculous than the last one. Wait, who are you kidding? No, it isn't. Looks like the combination to the safe is entered via the hands of the clock. Yeah, and you somehow doubt spinning the hands around manually is going to cut it. Knowing these guys, you've got to alter the flow of time itself to make it work. Which, of course, is bullshit. You think you'll just blow it up instead. Time to get deuce on the radio. Yeah, I like that outlook. It's just mad. Bullshit. Fuck that. It's bollocks. Fuck uh. that. Fuck that, I'm just going to nuke Fuck it. Fuck that. <laughs> gonna, Heck that. Just going to blast nuke it, Jelly. I think we all know what's going to happen here. Let's deploy the punch box. Ah, deploy the punch box. Hopefully nope, we can find the hungry box. It's, it's, it's Wait a minute, is that the... B <laughs> oh my god, that's the bath. Okay. That's... That's the bath. <laughs> that's beautiful. It's called a wrath tub. However, you stopped at the word B, and all my brain filled in was... Was that the B of 87? <laughs> Oh, I, I was. I, heard. I'm, I was. Oh God. I wasn't focusing at all on the bathtub or anything like that. I was looking at the the red cheeks and thinking, that's the same fucking ass as those puppets. Oh no! Oh, Why do you no. recognize the ass? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. That's the title of this episode. This episode's title is Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, fucking And I am hell. putting Tenko on the fucking thumbnail. <laughs> Do it, but with uh, Kokichi's, like, that really one creepy face that Kokichi made. <laughs> what, like that? F <laughs> fuck it, maybe. I'll, where, I'll see where, if I... Where is, where is I'll see if I give enough of a just shit. Massive. I'll see if I give him enough of a shit to do that. I might just do Tenko's one of I mean, Tenko's fucked, if face, it fucked up exist. faces. I might use I mean, one of Tenko's sure really fucked exists. up faces instead. I think that might work better, but whatever. Anyway, uh, let's, let's retrieve two of hearts from backup hat. You retrieve your pair of wax lips. If anyone tries to steal your wax lips, you would eat their eyeballs and deliver an angry lecture into their empty sockets. Understandable, I'd think I'd do the same. That's fair. Never tried eyeballs. Any good? Does anyone know? Fish eyes, you can drink them. There you go, that's as close as I've got. And they're really weirdly sweet. Huh. What did you... St what? What? <laughs> what? If you're thirsty, you can drink a fish's eye. You just, like, piss it with your tongue and drink the fluid out of it. Huh. huh. And it's really weirdly sweet. Oh. Weird. Okay. Might put a fish eye on there or so on, the, on the thumbnail or something. I don't know. We'll uh, fish it. eye lens shot. Whoa! Ah! Fish oh. eye lens joke. I was about to say. I'm I'll gone, figure yeah. something out. I'll figure something out. Let's peruse Red Cheeks magazine. Oh dear. He's an ass man. Oh boy. He's not. Just glancing at it gives you palpitations. Literature. Gets the conditions. <laughs> Literature for avid cardio aficionados such as yourself. These, those burgeoning red humps, that mischievous little tail, a snug, welcoming cleft. The saucy imagery is hard to beat. Harder than what you beat inside your chest right now. That was, I felt like that was going in one direction. It went in a different one. Um, Harder than what you beat. You know exactly what the following words were. Yes, yes, I, I do. I do know exactly what the following words were. In fact, I think that could be the end of the sentence, frankly, and, and the meaning would come across. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Come. <laughs>
So, your heart is... <laughs> your heart. You've got out the cyberpunk sound effect when you say that. Yep, yep, I know. I know exactly that I have to. Oh, you mean, you mean, hold on, hold on. No, 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 I already did the two, I'm, I'm already, oh, God! <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> God damn it, now I've got to do it twice! <laughs> uh. <laughs> you beat it to Red Cheeks magazine pretty regularly, you'd say. Well. Of course he does, I mean, he looks like a Discord mod. Does he? It just looks like he's like. He just looks like he's got a small face. He's just a big fella. Okay, fair enough. He's he's just a tall, hefty fella. He's not everyone who who is large and wide in any context is a Discord mod. Not. Yeah, but that's the joke. Come on. No, I feel like there are rubber. I feel like there are rubber attributes to being a Discord mod, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there okay. are there are many other attributes. Plenty. Well, for instance, for, rent, for instance, for instance, so. p- p- for instance, potentially, um, horrendous skin, and and I'm pretty sure that this guy doesn't even technically have fleshy skin, like con- it, considering he's got he's got the barcode. Journey has the barcode, and Journey had a carapace. This guy probably also has a carapace. Mm-hmm. Considering ah. everyone else who's had the barcode has also had a carapace. I think this guy... Probably... I don't think acne is something you can get as, as, as something with a, with, with a carapace, for example. I mean, I don't know. You don't know. Maybe someone knows. I don't yeah, know. I know. No, you can't get spots on a carapace. Yeah, I... I figured. Spots are like I mean, oily build-ups. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's a it's a solid thing. You could probably get, like, some, you know... Other, probably chip you know. it. Yeah. But that would probably just be, like, the equivalent of... A cool scar. Know, a cool scar, yeah. Hmm. Which, if anything... Depending on who you're talking to, is, is you know makes you more hot. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll read this. Right, yeah, you your, read this one. Your radio deuce on the ten four cards. Let him know you need a powder monkey on the double. You hear ticking, and it's not coming from the big vault above. You hope it's not what you think it is. Oh, I missed the word clock. <laughs> ah, it's fine. The felt will probably be fucking annoyed, but you know. <laughs> Oh no. Oh god. It's biscuits. His oven timer is ticking. This is no good. I feel like this this is one big bit that I'm not in on. This whole section. To a certain extent, is Homestuck also not just a big, considerably long bit that nobody was in on? Yeah, or maybe. Like or point. indeed that everyone was in on. I don't feel like I was in on it. And or, in fact, until Dave was, and was cool, on. and but then he was racist, so I was a bit less in on it. Then. Yeah, he I did. Like, he did have that very quite heated gamer moment with um, yeah, and with the the second on your voice. He, 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 you know, he did. Username. He did not have a. He did not have you know the level of control that the Shaolin monks have to be able to play video games and not say the N word. You know. Although to be fair. <clears throat> that was past Dave, so perhaps he has grown beyond that. That's true. Or maybe he's dead, who knows? Maybe he's dead or something. I don't know. We Something. Ooh, mystery. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Does that count as a mystery, really? And... Oh, ah. shit. He's a big guy. <clears throat> Ugh, there he is. Oh, wow. This idiot thinks his special oven transports him into the future by the amount he sets on the timer. <clears throat> well, he's sort of right, but in reality, all that's happening is that he's hiding in there until the time is up, then pops out. You guess he's relatively harmless if he's alone. 
You can, you can take him. What you really have to worry about is if he teams up with... Oh no, that ringing. That god-awful ringing. You can hear it. Eggs. Son of a fuck. <laughs> I like that. Son of a fuck is a, is a, is a good little... Yeah, son of a fuck is good. It when is you good. just when you just take you know expressions of anger, and you just swing them around, you just change them up. It it feels more angry, you know. Mm. Just mm. just calling yeah. somebody a fuck feels so much nicer than calling them a motherfucker. Mm. It it yeah, does. It that has that extra you... punch to it. Yeah. And it stops them from having the honour of potentially fucking your mother. Mm. Mm. Alright, let's follow the path, Mr. CD. You might as well <laughs> just grab one of your axes and kill yourself now. Follow the path. Oh shit, it's red! Oh no! Uh, in the future, you've already followed the path through the mansion that Droog told you to. Trace followed Droog's past trail even further back, but found a much fresher trail crossing his path. Looks like this little guy is talking on the radio. Says something about how he'll be right there once he gives Droog a hand. Uh, once he gives Droog a hand. Yeah, that, that is what that said, yeah. Good good job, mate. Big, big bro. I'm good. <clears throat> Trace decides he'll trace Hold this up. guy for a while. See what he's up to. And then mess with him, of course. And by mess with him, I mean say hello. And then not pop out from behind a corner. Hey. Get fucked, loser. You're gonna be wondering who that guy was for a real long time. You're gonna be mighty confused, dipshit. And that's all you're gonna be. Bitch. It is inevitable that you'll be confused. And that's just how I like it. <laughs> In the present, you talk on the radio. Say something about how you'll be right there once you give Drew a hand. It's like a good look in the, in the new room we're in. Looks like the trail of blood ends here. Or originates, whatever. Something went down here in the past, or is about to go down in the future? You know what? Never mind. 21 out of 1,000 clocks destroyed, apparently. Yep, um, uh, yep. He got, he got shooted. He, he did, in fact, get uh, ratatatted. Someone got drive by Hang on. There's a tooth on the floor. You know that tooth. You felt its bite before. Finn was here. And judging by the forensics of the scene, the angle it hit the floor, the direction of the blood splatters, and how dry the blood is, you think you know exactly what he's about to pull. Or more specifically, what he's about to already have pulled. The past. Finn always knows where you're going. He's followed your future trail here. He likes to mess with you from the past. Trouble is, he tips you off to where he's been. This time, you're ready. Wait for it. Wait. Now! Ah. Damn, he's good. Yeah, that's, he's good. Kind of good at this. And he gets shot to death. Predestined bullet holes are convenient. Gives you something to aim for. Oh, that's true. That is. <laughs> yeah. If you that's can a good line. All of your, if if you can see where all of your bullets landed, you're just gonna land them. <laughs> yeah. That's a good I line. Mean... That's a fucking good line. I'll give. That is a de that is a good line. That is a pretty raw line. Seven, yeah, seven out of twenty clock. clocks. Yeah, twenty seven out of twenty one clocks re destroyed. Bruh, that's like some kind of 
<laughs> Jojo gotcha moment. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie. If you can see where your bullet holes already are, gives you some to aim for. It's like a. The like next a... thing I'm going to do is. Oh shit! I, he's not dead. He's just like ouched. He's just dying potentially. Ah. Oh. I don't know. Uh oh! The SS is about to rematerialize. Yikes, guys! Oh, yeah. Oh no. Uh oh. That doesn't Sinks. make any sense. You never went anywhere. Oh dear. Uh, George? Di realizes there is a cost to settling the score with you in this way. The cost of having the will. Uh, the cost is having to live in the desert amidst the ruins of a dead civilization for the rest of his life. He thinks that's stupid, so he pulls your pen. Up the green up man, the green live, man up live up to his name. To his name. <laughs> oh, it's a good line! It's a good <laughs> Fuck line! Fuck me! Okay, there are a fair few good lines in this. This, I'll give this, him that. Is, this is going good. This is good shit. Also, he's fucking dead. Again. I'm about to help the green man live up to his name. He's dead again? <laughs> Could have sworn we killed him before. Have we done the black ball, or is it just... No, we haven't. That's, so you're missing the black and the white ball. The black. No, eight. I think I think the black ball is. They said they would never kill the black ball. If I remember. Yeah, correctly. number eight. Because that's number eight. Snowball. If I Snowy. remember. Snowball. Snow, snowball. Yeah. Something. Snowball. You're Blizzard right, Entertainment snowball, yeah. or some shit. I don't know. What, no, what, don't what do you do? Blizzard what, Entertainment. What, 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 what is that? People. What does he do? What does that snowball guy do? I don't fucking know. No, not that sure. But if his name's Snowball. Okay. And possibly and something his... to do with the weather. And then, no. maybe, and then, yeah, then that's so. I guess the leader will be the white one ball. Mm. Oh, yeah. sorry, no, not the white one no, ball, but the, the white, the, the, white the white single ball. ball that you have one of. The I cue mean. ball, yeah, yeah, that's it, the cue ball. All right, let's take the voodoo doll. You grab his voodoo doll and stick his pin. It in there for good measure. Might as well keep track of everyone you've offed this way too. Not that you intend to abuse its power to settle your score. What's the point if you're not going to get your hands dirty? Still, it might come in handy down the road. Lord English is supposedly indestructible. He's rumoured to be killable only through a number of glitches and exploits in space-time. The doll may ultimately help you work the system if it comes to that. I wonder if Lord English's full name is, like, Johnny. Wow. Film. Aha. Hmm. It's Aha. <laughs> Film reference. <laughs> it's just it's Rowan just... Atkinson. <laughs> <laughs> his first name's Lord, his second name's English, and it's 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 Rowan Atkinson, but, like... It's just Rowan Atkinson, except he is, except he just wields like a, a fucking pool cue or some shit. Just wields. He pokes people with it. Uh, it's like a Dark Souls boss though, so he's just like such a pain in the ass. You have to just oh, like yeah. learn. Yeah, his it would be if you shoved a pool cue. If you shoved a pool cue up there, that would probably hurt. Yeah. If you I could grab a fucking... pack. Hmm. <laughs> Clocks, destroy them. Ah. Nice. 29 out of a thousand clocks destroyed. 5 out of 15 green torsos dead. One third the way there. Very nice. Gamer. Now, let's go back to... 29's not a third of a thousand. I... <laughs> <laughs> Arthur, if I, were, if I were in the same room as you right now, I would throw something light but annoying at your head. Oh, here, here. <laughs> <laughs> that was, what, that was significantly funnier than... That was way funnier than it should have been. Okay. 
Oh, let's let's go back to fucking Diamond's Duke and just follow the trail downstairs and finish him off. Ah. Uh, problem with that is, he'll just see your future trail following him, and that'll be nothing but a loud invitation for him to mess with you some more. Besides, better to leave him al better to leave him alive. You think you know where he'll lead you to. Just gotta be a little more subtle about tracing his blood trail. Keep your future trail out of his line of sight. Ah. Let's return to being Hart's boxcars. By not doing that at all. Okay. Weird. Spade Slick can't return to being Hart's bots card, because obviously Diamond's Droog is too busy being Club's Deuce. You just watch Trace throw a punch into thin air for some reason. That guy's awful silly. He then skulks off somewhere. You don't realise he's following Droog's past trail through the mansion, until he gets to the point where it intersects with your trail, at which point he'll start following you. But we all realised it, because it's obvious and couldn't possibly be more clear. I'm not going to lie, all this past future stuff, I'm like, I'm paying attention to it when it's happening, but the minute it leaves the screen, it's out of my head. Oh, I swear it's like the most... It's clever, and I enjoy that he's doing something fun, but I am also yeah. just not, not paying attention. Same. I'm just like, yeah, okay, this is fun. I like it. I'm mm. not going to try and work out what's happening. I'm just going to let you do it in front of me and be like, Ooh, wow. It's a dirty man is doing the thing. That's it, cool. It'll all come together eventually, I'm sure. Come. Why, Why is that? No, don't. <laughs> Not again, that'll be the fourth time. <laughs> Why is that just the one joke this episode? <laughs> Why, because God? Very, because it's a very necessary question that we all need to know. You follow Druk's simple instructions. So simple that even a forgetful nincompoop like you can remember. There's a blood trail on the floor that goes in different directions than... It goes in a different direction than Trace went. You decide to follow it, because that sounds like a really good idea to you. If there was something you were supposed to do after helping out Drew, you'd be damned if you remember what it was. I like his C4 under his hat. That's quite inconspicuous. It, it is quite nice. It is a quality. Very inconspicuous. Good stuff. <clears throat> Trace catches up to where you were, but you're gone already. All he sees is the long, gross, rubbery arm of your past trail stretching through the room. He finds his comrade tied up with the stretchy rubber arms of a small man. But there's nothing gross or unpalatable about that in the least. Doze unslows himself and begins mumbling something feverishly about his hat. Can you just... Okay, so it does. It everyone kind of side simultaneously does. Okay, I was a bit confused about how the past sense and the future sense worked. Is it in like I was wondering, is it like you can focus on one person and see their trail, or is it like multiple people all at the same time? No, it's multiple people. Okay. Mm. Okay. Maybe he's just able to highlight the one he wants to follow. Oh. Or maybe he's just used to focusing on it. I don't know. Oh, she's got a bomb. Uh oh. He's got a bomb. Oh dear. Oh, he's dead. Seven out of 15 green torsos dead. 107 out of 1,000 clocks destroyed. 10 oh shit, that was a lot of clocks. clocks. 10 uh, 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 I said on the clocks, Ken, you can't make the joke again. Uh, 107.7%. <laughs> oh jeez! Ah, you're wrong. Ah, and then I'm right. Ah, <laughs> I'm. All right, Nathan, let's go. 
Stara. My man just went Super Saiyan annoying right there. Okay, good shit, good <laughs> shit. It's a new form of Super Saiyan. What, what color's the hair this time? I don't know, something uh, obnoxious. Something, Goku. Something that makes... <laughs> Your hair What do you Goku. mean Goku colored? What's Goku colored? No, no, it's just, a P, it's just a PNG of Goku. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's what I mean. <laughs> Goku, uh, Goku, it's, no, no, it's even better. It's Goku drip. Uh, <laughs> my question uh, is: My question is, does the drip Goku's hair also become Goku hair, and does it just go off in a fractal forever? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. That works. That's Perfect. a good idea. Brilliant. It's a good bit. If I oh, can be I'm asked, I'll make that. <laughs> if I can. Oh my god! There's a lot of people that are going to explode there. Mm. Finn makes his way through the mansion to get some help. He wonders where this little guy is going. Deuce's future trail is headed in the same direction he's headed, by sheer coincidence. Finn decides to follow him for a bit, keep an eye on him, for as long as Deuce's path matches his, that is. There's pretty much no chance he's headed to the same place, though. That would be statistically improbable. He's got no idea what these other goons are, are up to here. Funny, their future trails end here. He's not going to stick around long enough to find out why. He's a bit too woozy from the blood loss to sort out this mess anyway. Let's follow the red blood road. <laughs> um, it's uncanny. This little guy is matching Finn's route every step of the way. He must know something. Finn decides he's got to take him out. He must know something. I think that's funny, because, like, knowing something. Imagine doing that. Couldn't be me. Imagine. Imagine. Gonna be honest, I don't, I don't think it's... I don't think it's Deuce, either. <laughs> <laughs> My god, he's thought of everything. He didn't even think! He's that good. He got. Uh, he thought of everything without even thinking. Now that is the mark of a true himbo. <laughs> Alright, he's a himbo, good to know. He's a himbo, <laughs> and he's like two foot nothing. I like it. I like hey, it. It's like, it's like it's most critical. critical. We can have, well, we can have a... short himbos. That's fine. Yeah, all right. I've it. Okay. I haven't done it in a while. Alright, fair. Let's <sighs> go for it. But he can't get it. A clear shot, too dizzy, and with all that C4 under Deuce's hat, firing would be bad. My god, he thought of everything. Love how Billy you dealing cut with out A and idea. Would be bad. My brain completely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my I mean, the point comes across. Me. The point yeah. comes across, it's fine. We're dealing with, really a dealing criminal, with a criminal mastermind here. George, George's, like George's, George's criminal mind, not master. Haha. <laughs> Funny. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm just... Bro, he likes the clocks. What a cool guy. Uh, what a cool and fun stop guy. to admire this gorgeous clock. It's so pretty. Too bad it's not ticking like so many of the clocks in this place. Not that you can blame them. There are so many clocks in this mansion, it would obviously be impractical to make sure they all work properly. Oh, like a trail of blood. You think you'll start following it? I like him. Hot box cars. Let's waste exactly four hours on this tomfoolery. <laughs> oh, gee. yeah! You hate Just somebody said. You hate time travel. You hate time travel. You hate time travel. You hate time travel. Oh, no. You hate time travel. 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 Lungs. Fuck need those. Fuck the time travel guy. They're, they're all time oh. travel guys, Arthur. Oh. Unfortunately, but nah. uh, yeah, yeah. Fuck those guys. Fuck those time. Nah, travel nah, guys. nah. Just those two. Everybody else is it's time, it's time watching, you know? Ah, I see. <clears throat> Arthur, I need to recover my voice a little. Alright. Above, a spectator has appeared at the strike of four and has been giggling at your foolishness for a number of minutes. Clover would have been tickled to help you open this vault, 
and the cost of answering a few of his clever time riddles, needless to say. If only you'd thought to seek his help first rather than charging at the like the silly brute you are into this deadly trap of the stable and not so stable time loops. Mostly unstable, really. These guys are way too dumb to maintain even elementary looping stability for more than a couple of iterations. And if you weren't so preoccupied, Blower could tell you that you could use Crowbar's help to pry anything out of a time loop stable or otherwise. If you weren't so preoccupied, and if he wasn't so dead. <laughs> Love the little paw. There. Got drip! Uh, drip indeed. Stick oh, epilepsy warning, yourself. I guess. Uh, uh, maybe? I don't really think so on this one. It's a small thing. Uh, yeah, it's debatable. It can set you off. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm no brain man i'm no uh, yeah i'm, I'm no, no epileptic i'm no so. brain man i i don't know brains i don't know how those those work at all considering they have to give you an epilepsy warning for games with quick time events i i'm i'm going to say you should put one there yeah j just in case mm. better yeah. safe than sorry better, better, better safe than sorry don't want to end up like that one episode of pokemon yeah Zoinks. Zoink Scoob. Porygon, never again. Like Zoink Scoob. <laughs> maybe, maybe we could have one of the characters be Shaggy Rogers. I, I, don't, I don't fucking know. Anyway. Zoink Scoops. Ew. Stitch Muffins. Oh, like Zoink and Scoob. <laughs> My god, I'm man. I'm stuck in Homestuck. <laughs> <laughs> Stitch Muffins to himself in his shop. He gets his eggs and biscuits are roughhousing again. Because the fabric of space-time is tearing something fierce on Lord, Ingr uh, Lord English's Cairo overcoat. This sort of thing is exactly why he keeps a backup coat and always leaves Stitch with one of them. Any gang does well to have an in-house in doctor on hand, but if you deal in time travel, you'd better have a good, damn good tailor, too. That's Got quite a funny thing. I like that. I like that. That's clever. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because it's like fabric of space time. You gotta, you know, uh, sewing. Fa fabric sewing. Uh, clever. Yeah. Something uh, like that. Yeah. You tell Slick to get his scrawny ass to the vault. <laughs> it's goddamn bedlam down here. You tell him you ask Deuce for backup, but surprise, surprise, he's nowhere to be found. Big surprise, you tell him. You tell him that that was sarcasm. He says he knows. Slick says he'll be right there. He'll see if he can round up Droog for support. Yeah. I like this gang. They seem like just like four assholes that just don't like each other. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, quality. That's that's quality stuff. Exactly. Droog says Deuce is telling Finn. While well, he is telling Deuce. He'll be right there to help our boxcars as soon as he and Deuce take care of business with Stitch. Couldn't be simpler. Oh yeah, he also mentions he pumped F Finn full of lead so you can cross him off the list. You roger all that. In the past... Oh. Arthur? Finn busts into Stitch's workshop, blubbering about something about watching out for the little guy who's about to come in here. He says to watch out because he's got a bomb in his head which is undoubtedly quite volatile and even the slightest spark would surely set it off. Stitch sees Finn's obviously in pretty bad shape and checks his effigy. Sure enough, the thing's in, pa the thing's in tatters, but he should be just fine if it can get patched up before he bleeds to... Death. 8 out of 15 green torsos dead. Yeah, he's fucking gone. That's it. Yeah, he's oh, gone. So, he... so like, ah, I see. So, so, you, so you can see what's going on with those. Oh, I like get everyone it. based on like the effigies, and if they die, the thing you know stops working and falls apart, mm. and, if, and, it, and it mimics like. I see, and 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 also if you can get it patched up before they die, they're good. So it heals them. Clever. Yeah. So he's the doctor That's... and the tailor. Ah. Yeah. 
Ah. Hence the name Stitch, because he stitches the effigy. Ah, ah okay. the names make sense. And they have been so far. Well, yeah, but like, they more make sense. Still more of them keep mm. making sense. Aha. Uh -huh. That is a very... <laughs> that is an interesting ability. I like that ability. First in thrusting bull penis cane. Everybody out of the goddamn way! You got a head full of bomb, a fist full of penis, and a head full of empty. <laughs> oh look, it's a me on a daily basis. <laughs> Fair enough. Bombing? You have a bomb in your hat. Well, uh, actually, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen you wearing a hat. The last two, I'm maybe. The first one, I am dubious. I haven't worn one in your presence. Well, yeah, but where's the bomb in that? Where's the bomb in the hat? Where? That's still. My yeah. point still stands. Yeah. You don't got a bomb. You don't got a hat full of bomb because you don't even got a hat. Don't ask. Okay. Honestly, that's, uh, you, you are idiot. Afraid. This guy. This guy's so dumb. This guy. This he guy is clever. This guy. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so clever, guys. I me. I think this guy doesn't do any of that. I'm so smart. Imagine. Oh, no, I got a head full of empty. I already said that. Imagine yeah. thinking. Couldn't be me, couldn't be me. Cringe. Uh, Stitch says drop the life livestock knob and settle the hell down. He says you do realise C4 is a stable explosive and won't detonate with gunfire, right? You say, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's sneak into Stitch's boutique. Drop and get in. Don't bleed on the suits. Stitch says, huh? Ah. Ah. You admit the thought of carrying an imprisoned tailor wherever you go is gratifying for personal reasons. But in this case, keeping him alive should be useful for dealing with English later. I love this guy's lines. Two of them are... Honestly, two of them are so cool. One of them's really funny and one of them's just, like, relatable. Just like, I hate time travel. I hate everything. I hate you all. Why am I here? Yeah. Uh, this, I these, these guys are fun. I like them. I like them. Like, the line of... Stuff. I love Shut these up. Get in. Nuts. Don't bleed on the suits. That's, a, that's I love raw. I these num nuts. Alright. Well, it's, like it's like a real classic film noir. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Alright. Cut to Hearts Box, cousin. <laughs> Prod idiots with red cheeks. This predictably accomplished nothing. Taking your smut out of your... Out of hiding turned out to be a very bad idea. Now copies from the future are appearing left and right. And these clowns have their balls all over it. Slick, where the hell are you? Oh, God, they've... They're beating him up with ovens. They're, they're, they've, they've cracked him over the head with time travel, and now they're reading his time travel cloned porn. My God, I the <laughs> humanity. By the way, Alex, whenever the sequences with these characters come on screen, do give an epilepsy warning. That is so fucking hard to look at. I don't even have epilepsy. Yeah, it really is. And it's killing yeah, my fair. eyes. It's killing my eyes and partially my brain. Yeah, that's that's fair. Well, oh no, what's he gonna do? Let's remove. Well, we're the removing crowbar's pin. It literally fucking said that. Oh. Whoa! Oh my god! Holy fuck! Oh, he probably didn't want to be there. Huh? Crowbar's alive again. And a whole bunch of other stuff is different. He forgot this gang almost seems halfway competent when he's running the show. Good news is, you get to kill him again. Insert and quickly remove Snowman's pin. Oh, Snowman. Here we go. Snowman. You have no idea how much you'd like to, <laughs> but even you're not that crazy. Still, kind of tempting. I want to meet Snowman. Who is this yeah. guy? Oh, yeah, a I sound page him. coming up, though. Oh. Oh, okay, it's Snowman. What? what? I was gonna bet that's the last person they have to kill because it's the eight ball. Yeah, probably, yeah. And that would make that would make sense. 
Yeah. It's a woman! Ah! She looks like them. Outstairs, like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. Yeah. Oh, I, lo I love the j I love the like. <laughs> I love the music. Good. This is good. I like this. Oh fuck! Ow! Oh no! Why'd she do that? That was rude. I. You don't have that Goodbye. anymore. I love how she just stopped the firefight, stabbed him in the eye, and walked the fuck out. That. Raw. They that's, have a pest. That's, raw, that's good shit. That's good shit. Just like she, come, she just comes in, goes, "Hey, something in your eye," <laughs> and then walks away. <laughs> they have a pest. I, I, I gotta respect that. I gotta respect that. Everyone ceases always ceases gunplay when the snowman's around. If you kill her, you destroy the universe. Oh. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, because you... or something? Or, or no, 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 because because potting a black ball early makes you lose. Ah, I see. Hmm. Yeah. That is how it works. Everybody else needs to be potted. Also, if you pot the white ball, the enemy gets another go. That's why you can't kill Mister English mm, without you cheating. Kill... You can't kill Rowan Atkinson. Yeah. Yeah. Without yeah. cheating. You can't kill Rowan without cheating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The metaphor yeah. works. <laughs> The bit works, the bit works. The bit works. He's game, he's game. Remove knife from Although, eye. why isn't there 52 of... <laughs> of the, of the card people? I don't know. I don't know, maybe maybe only four of them are in a gang or some shit. Maybe, maybe the other, like, 48 are just hanging out, running like a shop or something. Yeah, they're, they're the front for the gang, you know? They run the pizzeria that is far more yeah. profitable. <laughs> <laughs> You know? Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. Uh, good old fucking um, nine of spades. He makes the best fucking pepperoni around. Hey, bippity bappity beppo. I love I love talking. Uh, you know, two of diamonds in his his fucking. I'm pretty sure he two he of loves, diamonds he loves, is, is just yep, diamonds yeah yeah. Yep, he likes the pizzas, and then, then he goes out and he kills all them fucking... them dudes with the, the C4s. And he comes back and yeah. eats another pizzas. Hey, we love him! Yeah. Hey, we love the guy! Hey, yo! Hey, bibbidi bobbidi beppo! He's a good guy. Alright. I don't know why. You started doing that accent, and my, vo my brain automatically went to Super Mario in real life. I don't know why. Never even seen that. All right. Ugh, no, not... I know, I know. I'm just confused. Oh, okay. It's not a knife. It's Snowman's cigarette holder. All you know is she's gonna have a hell of a time getting it back. Shove it up your ass. <laughs> well, I mean, I, we haven't Show seen any of his inventory four. chest thing, so for all we know, he has just shoved it up his ass and just kept it there the entire time. Get fucked. I don't- we don't fucking know. Who knows? Maybe he ate the fucking thing. I don't fucking know what he did with it. Maybe. Oh, he, he gave it a- he, gave, he just gave it a soul bite. Oh! Oh. Turn into a fucking lance, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you took the lance- This was a flesh wound. Dude, I was about to say that. Of course, it's only a flesh wound. Seems seems like that's the only sort of wound you can ever inflict on the corpulent lummox. Consequently, you and he both jump to a random point in the timeline. It looks to be in the recent past, when Stitch and Crowbar were setting up the crates for the imminent gunfight. <laughs> I like the idea that they were just like, yeah, yeah, it's gunfight at seven this evening, come on, just the well, they can see through time, can't they? So they're just like, all right, well, we don't, we don't want them to fuck up all the clocks. Let's put some crates down. I mean, two of the other fellas can see through time, so yeah, that, that does uh, that does actually make sense, yeah. Yeah, they're gonna fight here. Yeah, they're gonna fight here. Gunfight seven. What a fucking pain in the ass. Let's move the fucking boxes. <coughs> hmm. Uh, and Stitch and Crowbar were setting up the crates for the imminent gunfight, which. Which was very thoughtful of them. 
Your goons should be showing up any minute with the heavy firepower. For now, you've got to drop... For now, you've got the drop on everybody. Also, I, I, again, that, that does mean they put all the crates in place for for, for for the midnight crew to use. Well, yeah, well, it'd be yeah. a bit boring if they just let them sh like, shot them to death behind, from behind their crates, you know. Uh, it's it's got to be a good yeah. fight, you know. Oh, Shit film, yeah. innit? By the way... Got to almost... be a fair old fight, isn't it? <laughs> Otherwise, they probably just shot them as they came in through the door. They can see good through point. time, after all. That is a good yeah. point. That is a good point. Also, um, Common pointed this out the other day. Remember the Midnight Crew? Based on this old, like, song from, uh, I don't know when. I was going to do some research on it. I didn't. <laughs> never did. I never did. But, like, uh, fuck it, I'm just going to put, like, the song in the background as I'm saying this. I'm just, I'm just going to have that in the background. The background. The same, Assuming but yeah. you don't get DMCA'd. Well, I mean, let's. I'm gonna be honest. I've got enough copyright strikes on other things for putting in like fire in the fucking flames or some shit. I'm. I'm. I think midnight. I think worst that can happen is the exact same thing as most of the other times I put any copyrighted material in here. Best case scenario, nothing happens. It's. Yeah, I, I, don't I just know. Google. So I don't give a shit. I, just, I looked we up get Midnight Crew again. All right. Now something you, you looked up Midnight Crew. What? Wow. What, what, what you got? Uh, I'm gonna send it in chat. Because like, yeah, that commenter also put the um, yeah, they also put the link to like a, the audio in in their comment. So uh, cheers to you, commenter. I'm dreadfully sorry. I have forgotten your name. Um, <laughs> Shame. I will put. I put. I will put your comment on screen. You, there's your credit. I'm again. I, I forgot. I forgot your name. Well, let's it's kill right. something I out of rage and frustration. One of our commenters' last names. Oh yeah, <laughs> Gabriel <laughs> Castillo. <laughs> Fuck you, sorry, Mr. Guy. Castro. Ah. Stitch gets the business from your sa <laughs> from your saber rattle. He's dead, in this timeline at least. Bring knives to the gunfight. Is that a Zweihander? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's the fucking. I mean, yeah. Sword. It's the Skyrim <laughs> sword. It's the Skyrim steel blade like... sword. <laughs> yeah, and also just a razor. Occam's razor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's ah. like. You can use it to shave. Mm -hmm. the In the simplest way. In the simplest yeah. way possible, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we all had we all had the same bit. Okay, right. Where do you think you're going, fatty? You'll deal with him in a minute. You whip out your double edged sword and Occam's razor. Occam's razor, crowbar's head. Make it happen. With one P. Happen. Mm -hmm. Happen. Oh, what? Grandma deflects the King of Spades into Sor Sorbuck's unmissable carriage. You jump far into the past. Hey, oh, wait shit, a minute. it's Journey. Hold up. It's Journey. <laughs> no, it isn't. What? Oh. Oh, it isn't? It's just Slightly somebody different with Journey. journey. Somebody with with his with journey. his with his drip. With a spade. Uh, just to say the present for the time being. Rainy. Mm, a scurrilous sta straggler, eyes impromptu desert. Uh, there's there's a there's a the missing there. Uh, Im eyes impromptu desert skirmish. He dismisses them as a bunch of ill-mannered rogues, warranting no further investigation. Though he gives a small nod of approval to the plain and serv serviceable hat worn by one of the combatants, which strikes him as an absolutely smashing display of good fashion sense. Hang on a minute. I think that might be the same dude. Yeah, he's got oh, the spade, as I said. As well. He's got a spade, isn't it? He's got... Oh, he's got a spade. Him. I think he's the same lad. Set crowbar in the head. He 
can't kill him yet. You need him alive to return to the original timeline. You'll be taking the crowbar, though. Stuff him into the deck of cards. <laughs> the arms and leg just poking out there. Is is mm. is good. It's it's good. It'd be even funnier if his other leg was poking out the other side. <laughs> on like the back on the back side we can't see. That's where the hinge is, George. No. No, on the other on the side. Oh, you mean the see. side facing facing um Slay? Yeah. Yeah. So he's just completely twisted. He's just a pretzel of a man. <laughs> uh, you cram him in the war chest. Sawbuck, you need alive. You need to keep alive too for the moment, not to return to the right timeline, but the right time. Speaking of which, where's where's Tubby? Think he's waddling off to? Let's just go stab Sawbuck until the time shenanigans stop. Yeah, that about cinched it, I think. You treat him to a bit of the old bait and switch blade. You appear in the future. You guess Good this contract. is after that, after the gunfight is over. The gunfight that never took place since you killed slash kidnapped everyone who was supposed to be involved. Looks like only Boxcars is here. Carry Sawbuck like Titan Atlas would carry the world. In a bathtub, potentially. Okay. Uh, Arthur? You order Hearts to drop his tub on the double before this fat lard puts you in a wheelchair. <laughs> if you take Sawbuck back to your own timeline and kill him there, that should save you the trouble of hunting him down. Might as well take Stitch, too. Maybe. You're not really sure how that works. You don't really care, though. Policy. Dump them in the raft tub, then stick the tub in your own deck of cards. But you give Boxcar back his sordid lit literature, which he carelessly left in plain sight. No one will ever catch you leaving your smut around, and even if you did, that copy of Carrier Fancy Magazine could belong to anybody. No one could prove nothing. And that means I don't dog. like the name of that magazine. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't like a it. A <laughs> Terrier. Uh, I'm like going to pretend would get along really well with Jade. Mm, I'm going to no, pretend that it. he's just into people with like dog ears. Yeah. Or whatever, yeah. and like, like and like pet play. Like the god, the god, the dog equivalent of of uh, cat girl. Yeah, and that's, pet play stuff like that. That that's I'm going to choose to not believe. I'm going to choose to not just believe a that dog he magazine. Yeah, I'm going to just believe that 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 what you. Said I'm going is. to believe that he is not a zoo. Mm. Let's immediately move on and stick Crowbar's pin back in again. You oh, so it takes you to timeline. different timelines when you put different pins in. I get it. Yeah, that was yeah. <clears throat> but now, stuffed in your chest, you've got a live crowbar from another timeline, brought to the timeline where he's supposed to be dead. So you guess he's alive in this timeline, which is in part defined by his death? Uh, okay, whatever, you should probably just kill him again anyway. Also, Sawbark from another timeline is in there too, so you guess now there are two Sawbucks? It's getting kind of dumb. It's got a TMP. Uh, you open the chest, releasing them both. Crowbar doesn't look too pleased. Well, it's got that it's got that that gun that that that, that is used in well, what's it called? Ghost in a Shell. Josh. You deflect his gunfire into the awesome gravitational pull of Sawbuck's astonishing girth. Everyone into the past. He dodges next round, too. 
It seems Sawbuck from this timeline, i.e. the real Sawbuck, was in this room <laughs> at this point in time. He and Crowbar exchange bullets. Off they go. <clears throat> oh, they boy. Know... The real Crowbar. <laughs> oh, Sawbuck. <Sawbuck. laughs> they know... <laughs> I found you, faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough to be I'll my make you fit. eat those words! They no doubt go on to spend the rest of their ammunition peppering each other throughout the timeline, destroying all these clocks in the process between now and the present. You guess that explains the mess when you got here. Thank God you figured that out. You'd have surely lost sleep over it. 20 out of 107 clocks re-destroyed for the first time, eventually. You know what? Never mind. Take a moment to think up some time-based one-liners. No, no, remove the word time. I, I missed. The... I just thought it would... Remove the time. Take a moment you know to think up some Editing base one-liners. Just, just remove the word time in editing there. Just, like, take a moment to think up some based one-liners. Some based one-liners. Okay. Oh, you think yeah. you've got one. Time travel sure can be a double-edged sword. Wait, that was awful. Really, really bad. You're sure you can do better than that. I wasn't a based one-liner. I wasn't based. <laughs> Let's see. Um, sorry to... No, uh, time's running... No, wait, no. Fuck. You ask yourself some from the... You, you ask yourself from the past for a little help. Time's... Something about t time being no. How about some kind of clock pun? No, damn it. He's this. You were almost onto something. Time. Time is. Oh, screw this. Too many clocks in the kitchen. Oh, just what this quivering man of blubber think he's up to? Step first, utter puns later. I do love the fact that you misread cooks as clocks. That actually, I think, works better. There, that worked. That functioned. That, yeah. That was good. Or, or at least it sounded like you said too many clocks in the kitchen. That, it, probably. It did Fuck fine. That, 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 that was good. That was good. That was good. That, you know, you came up with this time pun forum. Too many clocks in the kitchen. It's like, it's close. It's good enough. Yeah. It's good enough. That's good enough good for line. short notice. It's good, it's good enough it's good for line. short notice. It's good line. It's good line. It's good line. Stab. That's so smart. Utter puns later, yeah. Ah, uh, Just as you hear your past self. Asking what happened to your eye, you jab Sawbuck with your butterfly effect knife. You remember a little while ago... Alright, some of them are quite funny. Yeah. Hmm. You, remember, uh, you remember a little while ago asking yourself about your eye and not giving yourself an answer before just disappearing. Maybe if you stopped and thought about it for a second, you could have warned yourself and avoided the whole mess. Albeit in the process creating a paradox. But your strict po policy of stabbing first and answering questions later prevented it. You're sure your past self understands slash understood? You are sure of this because you very clearly remember understanding slash understooding. I understood Understoodable. it. I understood Understoodable. it. Understoodable. Had a great day. Yeah. You are now past speed slick again. You were just about to pull Kurobar's pin. You guess all that stuff with your future self and saw book originally happened in this room while you were off watching someone else, like Diamond's Droog or something. That makes sense. <laughs> Let's remove Kurobar's pin. That's summary, I like shit it. happens that we already saw. We future spin. I think he looks good with one eye missing. That Also, I like the idea of like, damn, I'm glad I didn't offend myself. That's good. Mm. Yeah. Wouldn't want to have done that. Alright, we'll uh, read this page and then uh, stop the episode. <clears throat> uh -huh. Fair enough. Being your future self is a lot more constructive because you get to do stuff you haven't already done. 
Looks like you're in the future. It's a bloody mess in here. The clocks are more bullet riddled than ever, and it seems Crowbar and both Sawbucks have been dis have been decapitated. Be careful. You're almost certain this is something you will be or were already responsible for. Which of course means more time travelling. Fuck. Looks like the tub and chest are gone, which means future you must have packed up and left already. Got to take note of these sorts of things so you know where you are in the timeline. You notice something on the wall over there? But before we figure out what's significant about the things on the wall here, I think we'll put an end to this episode. Alright. So. What, what I actually like think? this bit a lot more than I thought I would. Yeah, the, this the is The intermission is, is very, very nice. Quality stuff. A lot of puns. I can, lot uh, of good, I can appreciate A lot good of good puns. puns. A uh, good bit of time shenanigans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Always yeah. good to have a little bit of time shenanigans. Not too much, but a bit. A, a, yeah, a I can, uh, bit of time shenaniganery. I Always can respect good. it. It's good fun. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. So. I, I pretty much feel the same way, but... So. Yeah. If you like this video, leave a like. If you very much like this video, and want to see more videos like it, hit that subscribe button. And possibly watch the rest of the playlist or something. I don't know. You might want to. Um, follow me on Twitter. Follow Arthur on Twitch. And follow George. Yeah, I, on literally mid-episode, I was upgrading my... Uh, sorry, literally mid-episode, I was updating my profile picture on Twitch because I realised I hadn't... That's fair enough. Mm. But yeah. yes. You, you, you gonna be doing anything particularly on Twitch, guys? Uh, uh, wanna yeah, advertise probably. those things? Next Tuesday, um, as in the day after the this day upload. Day. Yeah, the day after this upload, I'll be streaming Cave Story Plus. Uh, I am far too busy with revision for my retakes to be streaming at the minute. But once I'm done with those, I will be doing the streaming again. Yeah, that's fair. So. Drop by on Tuesday if uh, you fancy watching me play some uh, Cape Story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll see you in the next video. See ya. See ya. Oh, bye. <laughs>